Welcome to Creative Bath Lab. I'm always getting asked about supplies, so here are my most used items. All supplies will be linked in the description. First up are my big jars. When you make products as much as I do, these are lifesavers. They're extremely convenient and they also look great. Before these, I refilled smaller containers weekly or dug in 50 pound bags. I refill these maybe three times a year. Next up are bowls. I use bowls that are wide and short. I find them the easiest to mix in. I use different sizes for different batch sizes. Like if I divide the mix into smaller batches to make different colors, I'll use the smaller bowls. The set was cheaper than buying individual bowls and I use everything anyways like the plates for piping practice and drying coated bath salt and cups for mixing various concoctions. So this worked out perfectly. I use beakers for everything, measuring, mixing, dividing, etc. The big one is perfect for emulsions using a stick blender. They're also microwavable. Pipettes precisely measure liquids. I have one for each ingredient to reduce cross-contamination. The 8-inch 10 milliliter glass pipette is the best. It's short, has great suction, holds 10 milliliters, and can be washed and reused. Graduated measuring cups are perfect for thicker liquids or for quick measuring. This one measures from 2.5 up to 30 milliliters. For measuring cups and spoons, the more measurements a set has, the better. And definitely get a leveler for more precise measuring. You can't go wrong with wooden spoons. They're cheap and effective. Balloon whisks are great for mixing dry ingredients together. I use mini ones to mix wet ingredients. When I'm not using those, I use stir sticks. I use several at a time, like when mixing different colors, and longer ones are great for taller containers. A good spatula makes all the difference. This is a set of mini spatulas, and here are longer ones. Out of the 40 plus that I own, this green one is my favorite by far. It's a jar spatula, and this thing will get every drop out of the container. A mixer is convenient, and if you can, a kitchen aid is the best. A stick blender is a great thing to have. This one has two attachments. This scale is awesome because it even measures small fractions of a gram. While a sealer isn't necessary, it can come in handy for packaging. Metal pitchers are great to melt ingredients in, and a coil burner is perfect because it heats up quickly and gets really hot. I love my cart. I use it every day. Oh, and there's my cute microwave I got to match it. A dehumidifier is a must if you live in a humid climate, especially when making bath bombs. This one is a workhorse. I have to empty the bucket every three days. When a rag can't cut it, use a scraper to scrape off hardened ingredients like soap and wax. Use a gauge to make sure the area is at optimal humidity and temperature levels for bath bomb making. I've tried many, many sieves. Make sure the mesh isn't too fine. This one takes 15 minutes to sieve a cup of baking soda. This one is amazing and highly recommended. It's the perfect size and shape. You don't have to hold it and the mesh holes are the perfect size as well. This is a set of smooth stainless steel molds. They are my favorite molds. They're durable, easy to use, and most importantly, they don't leave an indent in the middle of the bomb. Last, a heavy rolling pin comes in handy. 
get one with a gorgeous print on it. 